as you've seen, I've shared a bit about my own story in the first video, what I realized my problem was. I couldn't be without doing. I was looking for inner calm, but <laughs> it was elusive. Then in the second video, I explained to you how I discovered the process that um, I went through and that I now help other women with. And here I want to share one of the initial exercises that I began doing and I still do. When you're in overwhelm, it usually means there's too much. Too much of everything. That's what the over part, over full, over stressed, overworked, or an overly heavy life situation. When I found myself in overwhelm, um, I began to realize that I needed external calm before any internal calm could be had. External calm comes from stillness, silence, and space. If you actually look at the definitions of stillness or calm or tranquil, which are all the states that we're looking for, they really, their definition really is the absence of movement. It's the absence of activity. Aside from the relative stillness, whenever you're outdoors, you are in limitless space. The rest of the universe begins from the surface of the earth onward. You're not enclosed. Being in a car, being in a house, being indoors affects our inner world. And I really do think that that spaciousness is one of the reasons that we also feel calmer in nature. So how, how are you gonna do this? You're gonna spend five minutes a day, five minutes a day where you're gonna step outside and you're gonna look at a patch of nature. Anywhere where you can see a patch of sky counts. And I want you to sit or stand. And we need to actually still our body and notice the world around us. Because I know your mind will most likely in those five minutes, run back to all the things you think you have to do. I'm giving your mind something to focus on, something that will help you engage. I encourage you to pick something up, like a pine cone, a stone, a leaf, a little twig, a flower. I just want you to look at it curiously. I want you to look at it with fresh eyes. I want you to look at it as if you've never seen it before. Now I know, that sounds so simple. You think, Calliope, are you serious? You're telling me just to sit outside for five minutes a day? This is the big uh, aha? And the answer is yes. Just do that five minutes every day. And you will see that it begins to create a shift in you. You start to notice that there's so much beauty and awe in the world. And your perspective shifts, something happens. No, the good to know is it's gonna be hard to step outside. It's going to be hard. It's only five minutes, yes, but it will still be hard for you to put down what you're doing and step outside. And so simple but profound exercise for you. Five minutes in nature, look at something, pick something up and tell me what you noticed. If you are interested in moving further, I invite you to join the waitlist for my upcoming membership site, From Overwhelmed to Awe, as well as my private Facebook group. You can find links for both below if you're curious to learn more. In any case, I look forward to seeing you in my Facebook group, and goodbye for now.